So write the linear regression equation that represents this set of data. So they've given us a table again, round all coefficients to the nearest hundredth. So I'm gonna enter the table in and uh, we're gonna put this one, I, I know we just did a problem, but I'm gonna make this my list one, which will be my X values. And then the new cases will be my second list right here. So to enter this into, into the calculator, all we gotta do is push stat enter. If you wanted to, you could make, because we already have list one and list two from the last problem. If you want to make this list three and list four, you can. This one, we go to Linreg, we got to make sure we enter it in as list three and four. But I'm going to keep this in as list one and list two. So I push stat enter, and then I enter these values, right? So for my list one, if there's values here, I can clear that out. But I just push zero enter, one enter, two enter, three enter, four enter, and then I get this list for list one. That's my X values. My Y values, that's the new cases, whatever this is. And then I push 757, enter 719, 682, 705, and 645. I'm gonna enter all these in. Now you'll have to be careful because at least this is a mistake that I make often. Sometimes I'll enter two values into one, one box. And so I'll see that they're not actually lined up at the bottom. And so you, you wanna be careful about that. So if you have like a 645 here, but not a value here for your list one, you need to go back and find out where you made some mistakes. There's a lot of numbers to type in as well. So if you find that your, your answers are not correct on the assignment, either two, two problems. Maybe you didn't push the diagnostics on or maybe you misentered a number. But now that we got those into the calculator, I'm ready to find the values that we need for the, um, for the equation. So I'm gonna to go to linreg ax plus b. So that's stat over four. And so that's the calc function of our stats. And four is linreg ax plus b. Now we got this screen right here, right? Now I have my x list. That's this one. That's my list one right there. Years since 1996. That's list one. So I just wanna make sure that's, that shows L1. And then list two is my new cases. That's my Y values, which is the next line. I just want to make sure that shows L2, which it should. It should come already equipped with that. So once I see that, I push enter, 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 and then it will give us this next slide. All right, so this is the information that it gives me. The screen will always have Y equals AX plus B because that's what we were trying to find with linreg, AX plus B. A is the slope and B is the y-intercept. They are different this time because we're using a different set of data. Now at the bottom we have an R value, that's the strength of the relationship between years since 1996 and new cases. I don't really know what this means by new cases, but I know what years since 90, 1996 is. That is really close to negative one, so I would say this one is pretty strong pretty strong relationship right there. Remember, if it's close to negative one or one, we would consider it strong. If it's exactly one or negative one, then we would say it's perfect. And anything close to zero is considered weak or it gets more weak until you get to zero, which is no correlation at all. Don't worry about R squared, but what we need, at least for this, for this problem, is the A value and the B value. Like I said before, now that we have the information there from the calculator, I don't really need any of the information from the table anymore, other than to maybe check in case I got some values wrong in here, which again means that your, your diagnostics on hasn't happened yet or we've mistyped some of these values. But we should see something like this. So my equation, it should be y equals ax plus b, a being the slope, and then the plus B, B is still going to be our y-intercept. So they said over here, the A value, which is shown here in the equation, I've just rewritten it over here so I can take that A and replace it with the number they've given us. No need to round this to the nearest hundredth, like it says here, because these are in the, the tenths. So that's negative 23.8. That's my slope. And then the B value, which is my y-intercept, is showing as positive 749.2. So I take the B and replace it with 
plus, because it's positive, 749.2. That's the equation. That's all we need for the equation. I can put that into the, uh, into the assignment. And then we can answer the second part, which is using this equation, find the projected number of new cases for 2004 rounded to the nearest whole number. So I'll box this in this time because that is one of our answers. Then I'm going to rewrite it so I can work with it. All right. So there's the equation. Again, this is in the first box, but I got to find out what's the projected number of new cases, whatever this is representing, uh, for the year 2004. Now, it's not good enough to say, well, the year is 2004, so um, I'm just going to replace X with 2004. Now, it says years since 1996. So how many years since 1996 is 2004? That's the value that we need. So to find that, it's a difference or distance between the values. So I just take the two and subtract them. And then I get eight. That's eight years since 1996, which is clearly a X value. So I'm going to take the X in my equation and replace it with eight. And then I put this into my calculator. And this is my Y value. This y value is showing as uh, 558.8. But up here it says round to the nearest whole number. So the whole number is the one's place value where the eight is right there. The eight to the right is gonna add one to that eight. And so my new y value for the year 2004 would be 559. That's how many new cases there are. So there's a word problem. So I'll make sure to label my answer. That's it. So in the year 2004, we would expect 559 new cases. Is it going to be exactly that based on the information? It could. Uh, it could be off by a few. Who knows? Because again, this is a strong relationship. This being very close to negative one. Yeah, we would expect the number to be pretty close to this, if not exactly 559. But it's manipulative to say that because we just don't know what's going to happen in the future. Like I said before, once you get that information entered and push and push enter on the assignment, it's going to give you the graph. It shows a downward slope, which was the negative A value that we had. And so for eight years since 2000, uh, sorry, 1996, we would expect there would be 559 new cases. So eight, eight years since 2000, uh, 1996, 559 new cases of whatever this is. I don't know what it is, something like that. The other thing I'd point out about this is that there's only five points of data in order to make this assumption, uh, which isn't very much. It's not very much. Usually, in order to make these types of conclusions, you want at least maybe 100. And if you can, the, more, the more you get, the more accurate the data, which is, again, it's kind of scary once they start using this kind of information on people, which we do all the time in schools.